Today, I'm gonna to share with you how to make a free capture video using the Collect app on your smartphone so you can make a video that looks like this. And you can make a barrel roll video that looks like this. And you can make a tiny planet and inverted tiny planet video that looks like this. The Collect app is basically a much more feature rich version of the Insta360 ONE X app. You can correct the horizon, you can add music, and you can barrel roll your 360 video. But there is one catch. There's a free version and a paid version. The free version will add a watermark in the bottom right hand corner of the video and the paid version is $47 per year. I was looking for a solution of how to make free capture videos using just your smartphone as many people have requested. So let me show you what the Collect app can do. How to export 360 video from the ONE X app. Now, if you are using the Insta360 ONE X, then the first step is to export your 360 videos from the ONE X app. So to do this, enter the ONE X app, go to Album, go to Video, tap the video you wish to export. Now, I highly recommend that you trim your video shorter so it will take less time to export your video. So to do this, go to Edit, Trim, and now the left marker is selected. So to trim the start of the video, drag the slider to the left. And I'll take out the first few seconds when we start to run. Then I'll go to the end of the video and remove the last few seconds when we stop running. And then when I'm finished trimming my video, I'll tap the tick to confirm. Now this video is ready to export. So to export your video, tap export tap local. Now we want to export a 360 video and tap export and your video will begin exporting. Now you just need to repeat this process for each video which you want to edit. How to use the collect app. Once you have your 360 video clips ready to edit then open the collect app. Now the first thing you need to do is import your 360 video. So to do this tap the plus button Select the clips which you wish to import and then tap the import button. And now all your clips will be imported into the timeline and you can see them all over here. Now if I scroll up then you'll see that there's also a square version as well as the circle version. And the difference between them is, is that the circle version is for immersive 360 video where when people wear headsets they can see all around them and when you're editing free capture videos, then you use the square version. Now in the squares, you can see some time codes and this basically represents how long the clip is. So this clip is one minute, 18 seconds. This one is 30 seconds. And this one is 13 seconds. One thing I highly recommend you to do at the beginning is set your aspect ratio. And this will help you edit within the frame. So to set your aspect ratio, just tap play. And then you'll have this option here where there's a square. If you tap it, it will change to a 9x16 format. If you tap it again, it will change to a 16x9 format. If you tap it again, it will change into a square. And if you tap it again, it goes back into a 9x16 format. To reorder clips on the timeline, just hold down the clip you wish to move and then move it left or right on the timeline and let go. If you want to add more videos, then you can tap the plus button and you can import other videos from your mobile phone. You can play and stop the video by simply tapping on the screen and that will play the video. And then to stop it, just tap the screen again. You can scroll through the timeline precisely by holding down on the timeline and moving left and right. So on the left hand side, you can see I am now at the 26th second or I can move to the 28th second 29th and so on. Now let's say you want to trim this video down from 30 seconds to about 10 seconds. To do this, tap on the clip and here you will see a circle with a colored line going around it. So this is the start of the video and this is the end of the video and this is how long this clip is. 
So this line represents 30 seconds of video. Now, if I want to trim the start of the video, then I'll simply drag this point to where I want the video to start. So let's say I want to start it about here when the camera begins to move. And over here is the end point, so I can drag this inwards to select my end point, which I want about there. Now this ball is basically a marker to represent a specific time in the timeline between the start and end point. With this button over here, you can change the speed of the video. So if I just play it and tap this button, now it will speed up. If I tap it again, it will slow down. And if I tap it again, it goes back to normal speed. Now, if your video is bent, then you can recalibrate the horizon with this button. So if I tap it, I can then choose what I think is the correct horizon using this guide and then tap this button to confirm the new horizon line. With this button, I can add a color grade and there are a few preset options, but for now, I will leave it off. You can move to the next clip in the timeline by tapping this button in the top right hand corner. And since I've moved to the next one, I can now move to the previous one in the top left hand corner. So now that I'm happy with this edit, I will tap the tick button to confirm that trim. Now I'm going to show you how to reframe your 360 video. So the first thing you need to do is add a pivot point at the beginning of your video. So go to the beginning of your video by dragging your timeline all the way to the left. And you'll know you're at the beginning when this bar is completely empty. If I drag it forward, then you can see the bar filling up. So make sure the bar is completely empty so you know you're at the start of your video. Now here you can see the 9 by 16 frame and I'm going to use my fingers to zoom in by pinching outwards and then with one finger, move it around to make sure I'm in the center of the video. Now that I'm happy with that position and that's where I want my video to start, I'm going to tap the pivot point button. So now this is what my video will look like at the beginning of the video. So now I want to add another pivot point, but let's say a little bit later down the video. So I'm going to drag the video down. And if you want to be more precise with where you put a pivot point, tap into the clip, move the ball where you want to add the next pivot point. So let's say here, tap the tick button and now you know the video is at that specific point over here. So now I'll move the frame around to where I want to look. And I can also zoom out by pinching inwards and tap the pivot point button over here. Now, if I want to move back to see my previous keyframe, I can press this arrow button and I can tap this arrow button to move to my next keyframe. If I don't like the way that keyframe looks, I can tap the X button to remove it and I can edit again. And tap the pivot point button to add another keyframe. So now let's move a little bit forward in our video. And let's say I want to keep looking in that direction up until here. I'll tap the pivot point button again to add another keyframe. And let's say now I want to look to the other side of the boat. I'm gonna scroll around to the other side and this is the view I want, maybe a little bit more zoomed out and tap the pivot point button to lock in this view. Now, if I just drag this to the beginning and we watch this back, we can see what we've made so far. So now you know how to do some basic reframing how to barrel roll 360 video. So now I'm going to show you how to add speed and a barrel roll to your 360 video. And I'm going to change the speed to fast. And now you can see the duration has come down to 26 seconds from 1 minute 18. I'm going to bring that duration down to 10 seconds by trimming the start and end points. And I'm going to add a pivot point at the start of the video. So I'll add this ball to the start of the timeline and tap the tick button. I'm now going to position the frame where I would like it to start at the beginning of the video. And I would like it to start there. 
So I add a pivot point here. Now I'm going to tap into the clip and move it a quarter of the way in because this is where I want to add the second pivot point. Tap the tick button. I'm going to twist the frame with two fingers until it's 90 degrees clockwise. About there. And I'll add a pivot point. And then going to tap into the clip again. Move it half the way, about here. Tap the tick button. Two fingers on the screen, turn it clockwise, another 90 degrees. About here. And add a pivot point. I'll tap into the clip again. Go three quarters of the way. Tap the tick. And with two fingers, turn the frame 90 degrees clockwise till it's this way. Add a pivot point. Then tap into the clip again and move the ball head almost to the end of the video, about there. And tap the tick button. And with two fingers, I'm going to bring the frame back round again to its starting position. Pinch outwards to zoom in. Make sure it's straight and add another pivot point here. Now, if I scroll to the start of this clip and play it back, you'll now see the speed and barrel roll effect. Now you'll see it's stuttery when it previews, but when you export the video, it'll be nice and smooth. How to make a tiny planet video. So now I'm going to show you how to add the tiny planet and inverted tiny planet effect. So first I'm going to tap into this clip and I'm going to reduce the duration of this clip to 10 seconds. So I'll remove one second from the start of the video and remove two seconds from the end of the video. I'll move this ball head to the beginning of the video because this is where I want to add my first pivot point and tap the tick to confirm. I'm going to find myself, I'm over here. I'll zoom in and this is where I want my first pivot point to be and what the beginning of my video should look like. Now there are two ways to add the next pivot point. I can either press play and then stop it. But if you want to be more precise about where your next pivot point is, you can tap into the clip. I'll move around the clip and I'm going to move the ball head until I'm in the middle of the poles. Tap the tick to confirm. So now we're at the point where I'm in the middle. So now I can reframe this and position it so I'm in the middle and it's straight. So I'll add a pivot point here. And about one second later, and I'll stop it. This is the point where I want to turn it into a tiny planet. So I'll pinch inwards and then drag my finger up and it will slowly turn into a tiny planet effect. I'll pinch inwards again to zoom out. And I'm going to keep myself at the top of the tiny planet over here and add a pivot point. I'm going to tap the play button until I'm almost halfway around, about there. And then I will turn the video with my two fingers until I'm at the top of the tiny planet again. This will make it look like I'm trying to stay on top of it. And I'll add a pivot point here. And I'm going to tap play and about one second later, I want it to turn into an inverted tiny planet. So I just accidentally added a keyframe there. So I'll tap the X to remove it. You can also add a keyframe just by holding down on the screen, but sometimes that can be a little bit imprecise. So you can add a pivot point more precisely by tapping the add pivot point button. But now I'm going to turn it into an inverted tiny planet. So I'll drag downwards. And then with two fingers, pinch outwards to zoom in. Then position the inverted tiny planet in the middle. Add a pivot point here. I'm going to press the play button until I'm almost at the top. And then I'm going to twist the tiny planet 
So I'm at the bottom again. So it looks like I'm running at the bottom of a mouse wheel. About there. and add pivot point. So now if we look at this footage back, you'll see it turn into a tiny planet and then it will turn into an inverted tiny planet. So you now know how to make a tiny planet an inverted tiny planet effect. How to add music. So when the video is paused, you'll get this set of options and when the video is playing, you'll get this set of options. So when the video is playing, you have the option to add music and you can tap the plus button over here to add music from your phone gallery. If you're looking to add music, you can visit my website, downloadsound.co.uk. It's an absolutely free music library with music and sound effects. So let's have a listen to one of those tracks. <laughs> So if you want to download that track, just tap the plus button and hit download. You can download music on Android devices, but iOS devices have some security measures. So unfortunately, it will not let you download music and sound effects to your iPhones or iPads. You might have to download it to your computer first and then send it to your mobile phone. So once you have that music downloaded, ready to add, I'll select the music and then scroll down to find it select the track and tap the tick button to confirm and now the music has been added to your video. How to save and export your video. To save your video you can tap the back button and you'll get an option whether you want to discard it or save it. Tap the save button and now your project is saved. To export your video you can either do it from here by tapping the export button but if you're within your project then you can tap the export button over here but before I do that, I'm just going to change the view to 9x16 or you can change it to 16x9 if you want it for YouTube. So now I'll tap the export button. So now your video will begin exporting. Once your video has finished exporting, then you'll see some options to where you can publish the video to, like YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. If you tap the I button over here, you'll see where on your phone the file has been saved to. That's it, you now know how to make a free capture video using the collect tab.